I'm getting so many messages in already from people saying, well, actually, everyone here has said thank you for the report. Please cover this news more and more. It's great that they're getting in touch with us, but it's not been easy to get in touch from Bangladesh, right? It hasn't. But again, social media has played a huge role, Kamal, in organising and drumming up the support for these protests, especially when it all started. But now we've heard that 3 and 4G mobile data services have been blocked. This is now causing frustration among those who can no longer share their videos, pictures or plans for more demonstrations. And they're worried about their safety as well, so much so that people that we've spoken to have asked not to be identified. Non-resident Bangladeshis are using social media as a tool to inform. We use these platforms to express our solidarity and organize fundraisers. We are also demonstrating in universities and outside the offices of news corporations in major cities. We mobilize because we relate. Since then, however, our role has changed. Protesters are being attacked by members of Chatur League, which is a student wing of the ruling party, with allegations of sexual violence against women also surfacing. People are frustrated. Currently, the cellular internet connection throughout the country has been shut down by the government, and the people are now trying to reach the, the international media by spreading some social media awareness throughout various social media sites. And uh, things actually went out of hand when the when the protesters were attacked by a group of men uh, who the protesters claimed to be some pro-government activists. Well, the mobile blackout took place after the Prime Minister's office issued a warning about misinformation, where they said such fabricated news is being spread to confuse the country's citizens, including the young students demonstrating for road safety. Now, home internet services, though, have stayed online, and protesters have been logging on to plead for international help. And we spoke to another man who had just left Bangladesh for holiday when this all started, and he explained why he trusts social media more than local media to report on what's actually happening. Listen. The information minister has ordered most of the news outlets to um, not report or cover the student protests that's happening right now. And thus most of the information we get uh, from back home, from uh, the news media outlets, has been highly doctored with. And thus the only people we can trust at the moment are um, friends from the front line or Facebook Live. And we are getting a lot of messages on the story in Bangladesh. So do keep them coming. Use the hashtag AJNewsGrid or you can tweet me directly. I'm at Rahila Mohammed.